What's going on guys? We are going to take a look at setting up PS2 with Emulation Station. Um, we will need uh, four different things. Of course, we'll need Emulation Station uh, already installed. If you haven't installed, stop, go install it, <laughs> come back. Uh, next thing we'll need is uh, ROM. We're going to need um, any PS2 game ISO. Um, for my show and tell today, I have Devil May Cry. And we have PC SX2. And I apologize if I botched that a couple of times because it's kind of a tongue twister. Um, we want the binaries. So go ahead and look at the description below. And I have a link to the download where you will get the binaries. Don't use the install. The install doesn't work well or at all with Emulation Station. It works great on its own. It's a great emulator, but uh, for what we're doing and we want uh, games to start up automatically, we want the binaries. So install that or download that. And then you're gonna need PS2 BIOS. And I'm not gonna provide that because I don't know if I get in trouble for it. FBI be knocking on my door or something. Go to Google, type in PS2 BIOS, hit the enter button, and the world is your oyster for downloading it. There's tons of them everywhere, you know, so uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, once you got all those uh, ready, we're gonna go ahead and open our emulation station folder, which it is, you know, under C, uh, users, your username, you know, and then dot emulation station. And um, yours is going to look a little bit different. Mine's a pretty clean setup. Although I've ran this like once before just to test to make sure there's no bugs and everything and stuff like that. Uh, but um, we'll start the process here and you'll work with yours and I'll work with mine. Uh, first is going to be the ROMs folder. Yes, ROMs folder. Uh, make a ROMs folder. If you haven't already, you probably have. And then we're going to make a PS2 folder. PS2 for PlayStation 2. And then we're going to open up and we're going to drag and drop our game slash games into that folder. So now I have my Devil May Cry ISO image under Emulation Station, ROMs, PS2, and there's the game right there. All right. Um, we're going to take a look at our systems config, which you should be familiar with. Not, that's okay. Uh, pause the video, write all this down, put this in your config. This is the way PS2 needs to be named and configured in um, Emulation Station. Of course, the paths will be varied and different a little bit uh, based on your setup. But for the most part, um, all of this should look pretty much identical. Um, of course, if you've got your ROMs in a different location, then you know to put that in, uh, assign that a different location here in the config folder. Um, but we'll just double check to make sure. So we've got emulation station ROMs PS2, Devil May Cry, and emulation station ROMs PS2. Good. All right. Uh, next, we're going to do is we're going to make a systems folder. Oh, there. My keyboard is off to the side here. So um, systems, plural or singular, it doesn't matter as long as you name it correctly within the config file. Uh, and then we are going to open up our PC SX2 binary. We're going to drag and drop in there. For those that don't know, I'm using 7-zip. Yay, it's fun, it's easy to use. Um, in the sake of easiness, we're going to rename this after I drag and dropped it into my systems so that it is just named like that. I don't like spaces. Spaces are hard to deal with. They complicate things. They make things more difficult in life, especially with this config file. Uh, you've got to use percent signs and stuff that represent the space. Uh, so PC SX2, all capital. I don't think the capitalization matters, but we're going to keep it that way no matter what. Ah, emulation station systems, plural, PCSX2, PCSX2, EXE. Hey, look at that. All right. We're going to make another folder called BIOS. Fantastic. And we're going to open that folder. And now we go to our BIOS, zipped, wherever you found it. Good for you. And we're just going to drag and drop in there. So that, boom, all of our BIOS are in there. 
Um, I think there's like a ROM paradise or something like that that has a bunch of them there. Hint, hint. Uh, <clears throat> so <laughs> we've got BIOS cheats, docs, all this stuff in here, all this crap. Um, one caveat with PC SX2 is that you need to run it ahead of time. Um, it needs some setup, but every setup thing we're going to do here is very default and basic. So double click on the exe. Um, default system, system default. Uh, click next. Yes, all of this is good. There are tons of videos online um, that you can go on and take a look at um, bumping this emulator way beyond what it's what the normal PS2 games are supposed to do. Um, not in terms of just cheats, but like seriously shaders and more polygons and stuff like that. You can kick it up and make some games look really good if your system has the right horsepower for it. So um, t definitely go check that out after you kind of play with this for a little bit and see what's capable. Uh, we're gonna use all the defaults here and then the last we're gonna pick USA. Finish, it's gonna boot up. Yay, we're good, successfully loaded. We're gonna close it right back out. And we are pretty much ready. Um, flying through this pretty quickly here but we'll just double check to make sure that everything kind of looks right. Um, and if it doesn't work, I'll cry. <laughs> uh, we're looking good. We're looking good. Okay. Um, I apologize for my uh, system. It may, the screen may wig out completely because we're going to start up emulation station. And I got a 4K monitor, you know, first world problems here is that uh, the recording software just does not like converting from 4k down to 1080p or something or whatever so we're just i apologize uh we're going to turn on our controller because we know to do that first otherwise emulation station will bark at us and we're going to start up emulation station i hope you can see this trust me it's there uh yeah i can see the preview there that doesn't look exactly right um it looks full screen on my side um devil may cry there we go hit the a button and went through that pretty quickly but i think it's gonna work all right it's starting up looking good looking good checking memory good um, i'll make this just a little bit bigger so you can see it Boom. And in the configuration, you can also make it so that that starts up full screen. You can make it go through like the cool PlayStation, you know, retro stuff that it always did when you had the console. Hit the start button, and boom, there's our game. It's running. Awesome. Just make sure. Yep, there it goes. Warning this game's violence and gore and all that kind of stuff. All right, I'm going to exit that out and exit this out. And. You can also make it so that if the game is closed, um, then you can uh, make sure the whole thing shuts down. It doesn't try to hold that screen open. But that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, adding PlayStation games to your library should greatly expand your um, emulating and all the stuff that you can do. Uh, great titles with PS2. I think that that really bumps the uh, kind of the years in which um, you have newer stuff available on well, PS2. It's not that new at all. Uh, that's scary. It's, it's getting really old now. But in terms of emulating, you know, usually we're way far behind. We're still doing Nintendo stuff and all that. So with PlayStation 2, I think that adds a really good, solid uh, title list of stuff that you're able to do. So that's it. That's all we needed to do. That's all where we're at now. So guys, thanks. Um, put comments below. Tell me if you want to see other stuff, if you're having problems. I've had a lot of uh, great comments from people asking questions. Some of them we were be able to solve. Some of them we weren't able to at all. Um, and then personal comments and uh, emails and stuff like that have actually been coming in. So uh, keep them coming. Let me know what you want to see next. Uh, I'm probably going to jump into like some Atari stuff, some really old school stuff, and try to flesh out some of the uh, titles that we can put in here on the earlier spectrum because we've done Wii and GameCube and all that, and now PS2. Uh, but, you know, we need to get some uh, some 
older stuff in there. I don't know what something Galaga or I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look at it. And then of course, on the way is going to be some meme. Uh, that one's a big one. And I know there's been some requests for that one. Uh, got to make sure everything's in line and that one's going to be a long video, but once we get that one working, that'll be super fun. So, all right. Happy emulating. <laughs> 